What's going on guys? It's gonna be a quick video on a day in the life of a Sapper student in Sapper school. This was requested by a couple people. They emailed me asking if I can make a video about it. So here it goes. First of all, I'm gonna talk about what a day is like in the GS phase in Sapper school and what the day is like in the patrol phase in Sapper school. If you don't know, or if you have not watched my other videos about Sapper school, Sapper school is 28 days, roughly 14 days in GS phase and 14 days in patrolling phase. And then you graduate if you don't recycle. GS phase or general subject phase, it depends on your class leadership if lights on is 4 or 4.30, PT formation is at 05. And every day is going to be different PT, right? Might be a run, it might be litter PT, it might be five mile run, following PT. You'll get smoked until about, I'll say, 7 a.m. or so. So if the actual PT event is somewhat short, then you'll just get smoked for longer. If the PT event is long and that PT takes up much of the time allocated in the morning, then you won't get smoked as much. Following that, you'll be given time to shower, change, get ready, and move on to getting some chow. Some days for breakfast, you'll be allowed to go to the defect, but most likely you'll be given defect via mermaids. And then you have to be in class by 08. Classes start at 08. And the classes is a mixture of lecture, so in classroom, and practical, which is hands on outside. So depending on the day, you'll kind of do a mix and match of that. And then from 08 to 1200, you'll do a bunch of classes. And in between, maybe like every hour or so, you'll get smoked for like whatever reason if people fall asleep because you're always tired, right? And then around noonish, you'll get chow. Like again, with lunch chow, almost never you'll go to the defect. Maybe once you go to the defect, like you'll get mermaids, all right? So the food will be brought to you. And before chow, you will obviously recite the Sapper Creed and make sure that everything is dressed right dress before you're allowed to eat. They don't really fuck with you about like eating, how much time they give you to eat. They'll let you eat everything properly. Almost always, you have more than enough food to get seconds. So you'll be fed pretty good in GS phase. Like before lunch chow, usually you have a urine test. So every single day in Sapper school, you have a urine test to make sure that you're not getting rhabdo, which is pretty much the proteins in your muscles getting burned. So like you're starting bleeding in your urine. With a urine test, they're making sure that you are properly hydrated. And I believe if you pop negative, you're not hydrated properly, for two or three times in a row, you're gonna be dropped from the court as a, as a safety violation. So make sure that you drink a lot. So once you're done with lunch at noon, then you'll move on to more classes. Again, it's a mix and match of in class, lectures, and hands on outside. And then you'll kind of pause again around 5, 5 30 ish for dinner chow. And same thing, you'll recite the Sapper Creed. Everything has to be dressed right, dressed. You will eat and they'll give you more than enough time to eat and you'll get seconds and after that you go right back into classes again. The formal part of the day is over around 9 to 10 p.m. And that's when the instructors are done with you. After that, it's kind of like your time. You can do whatever you want, but almost always from 10 to I'll say around midnight, you will be practicing stuff on your own because Sapper School, you're getting so much information you have to practice on your own to kind of retain it. So from 10 to 12, you're kind of practicing, studying, you're doing your nods, you're reading separate handbook, you're memorizing your checkpoints and stuff like that. But you're practicing with your class, with all the team events. And then I'll say around 12, 30 to one, realistically, you'll go to bed. Some nights you may go to bed around two because you're practicing more for the next day, depending on what's happening the next day, what events are being graded the next day. And then again, you get up the next day at four to 4.30, depending on your leadership. So this is GS phase. One important thing, is that all throughout GS phase and also patrolling phase, all throughout Sapper school really, you're getting a lot of time at everything and anything, there's a time hack. If you have to go from the classroom to the tower, let's say usually it takes a 10 minute walk, they'll give you five minutes to get there. They'll give you time hacks for everything and you're always in a rush. And if you don't make a time hack, then you'll get punished, you'll get smoked, right? Just so you know, the time hack, they are realistic. It is challenging, it is tough, but it is very realistic. You could do it, you just have to work as a team. And that's what they're trying to mold is that they want you to work as a team because that is imperative in patrolling. You have to be a team player, otherwise you'll all fail. No one's gonna get a go. Patrolling is a bit different. Patrolling again is about 14 days, a little bit less than a week. First five or six days, it is going to be all classroom in patrolling. When it's all classroom, there's no PT events in patrolling except maybe one that was a full battle rattle ruck run, and that was on the first or second day of patrolling. Besides that, in patrolling, the first couple of days, the first five or six days, you're pretty much waking up around six to six thirty, and you are in class by zero seven, and you are just getting lectured on right about everything about how to conduct a raid, how to conduct an ambush, how to deliver an op order, how to do a recon. Every now and then throughout the day, you'll go outside to actually practice 
when you had just learned in class, and you will also get smoked periodically throughout the day if you're falling asleep or you're messing around in the class or whatever it is. Those first couple of days, you are getting fed, I believe, all three times from what I can remember. Bottom line, you're getting fed the first half of patrol. And then I'll say maybe it was only a day before you actually go to the field, you stop getting fed, like no food whatsoever. So pretty much you go into the field field hungry. So once you're in the field, it is kind of broken into, I believe it was a three day and then it was a four day. Okay, so the three day, you go to the field, you come back, you do the kill class, you sleep a little bit, and then you go back after four day, you come back, you are told if you gotta go or not, and then it's over. So you start patrolling the first half, so like three day in the FOB, in FOB Falunico, with an eight hour off order. And then you go out, and then you conduct your five hour, your three hour, bunch of one hours, and then you come back. When you come back, you do kill class, you sleep a little bit, and then you go back out. But before you go back out again, you do an eight hour off order in the FOB, go back out, five hour, three hour, one hour, come back. Then you clean weapons, you get told go or no go, and then you move on with your life. So when you are in the field field, you're not getting any sleep, like almost no sleep. And because you are getting missions after missions, so every single day, the class has to conduct a certain amount of missions. If everything goes right, by the time you are done with all the missions and you get to the patrol base, it should be around 2 or 3 a.m. Once you conduct your patrol base, then you're allowed to rest a little bit. You most likely have to have 50% security. You'll be allowed to rest until 6 a.m. Then from 6 to 7, that's your sapper time, where you could have no security, you could sleep, you could do hygiene and, and like whatnot. That's the ideal case scenario is that you're in the control base by 2 or 3 a.m. So you get maybe an hour or two of sleep. But realistically, that will not happen. Realistically, by the time you're done with all your missions and you'll get to the patrol base, it is like 5.30. So 6 o'clock is your sapper time. You would think you could sleep, but really like, like doing your hygiene, eating your one MRE a day that you're eating, and you're also doing your poncho layout to make sure that you haven't lost anything. Realistically, when you're actually in the field field, you're not sleeping at all. Like literally, like you are not sleeping, like zero sleep. So the first three days, you're not sleeping. You come back, you do a kill class, and then that little pause, once you're back in the fob, you'll sleep for maybe three to six hours, depending on how everything works out. And then you go back out for another four days, again, no sleep, and then you come back. That's the way it is. One tip, and I shared this tip with my other Tabra School tip video, I will link it here somewhere. When you come back for the kill class, yes, kill the animal, because that's part of the grade, but they give you the option to eat it or not. If you don't want to eat it, you could be given an MRE. Take that MRE because it takes forever for that animal to be cooked and then you gotta season it and like everything just kill the animal give that to someone else eat that mari and go to bed if you do that you can pull six to seven hours of sleep that night at that point sleep is way greater than food like you could go another month without food if i had to guess right but sleep that affects you more at least for me that was the case right so you recharge for the next four day rotation in the field and then you're back and hopefully got your go and you're done you're gucci that's kind of the quick rundown. Let me know if you have any questions. If you have any comments, please like, share, and subscribe, and comment in this video. This helps the YouTube algorithm to be the most optimized so that these videos reach out to more people just like you. All right, I'll see you guys later.